Yeah, thanks, Pat. Thank you, thank you for your work. Thank you. So now that your job is done, do you actually believe the stuff that you say out of curiosity, or do you just kind of do the script that you're told to repeat? I'm just curious because you have destroyed my life, CBC. Um, you you write a lot of hit pieces about me. My family has been doxxed. I've received death threats. Um, I have a six-year-old son, a three-year-old son. I come from a good family, and you've literally destroyed my life because I ask appropriate questions. I just want to know if you have children, if this is actually the world that you feel that, you know, you want to raise kids in, that you think kids, you know, want should be living in, if this is the future for them, like you're young, you actually think this is appropriate? And do you, like, do you actually believe the work that you do, or is it just a good paycheck? You? Like, like CBC has destroyed my life. Like, you should see the hit pieces, many of them, that you guys have written about me. Um, it's disgusting. I'm Chris Nagel. I'm a nurse, and um, because of the hit pieces, you guys have totally like ruined my career, and and just and I've been fired um, because of it. People have doxed my address. People have given me death threats um, because of the lies that you guys spread and and the way that you twist the truth. And I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and kids have never been happier than what has been created here. Why don't you show that truth? Do you see the smiles in the kids? Do you know what has been taken away from them these last two years? Do you know six-year-olds have told me they wanted to cut themselves and kill themselves? Kids want to die because of the last two years. Why aren't you showing that? And now you're talking about kids' welfare safety? Now you think kids should be taken from their parents out of these trucks? You're working with the welfare well, services? They're, they're what they're showing, they're like but you're repeating like, oh, it. Like, you're repeating it. And people are believing it. Why do you think there's people out here counter-protesting? Why do you think Winnipeg, someone drove down four protesters purposely and put them in critical care? Why do you think there's actually violence and hate happening? Do you know how divisive this is? Yeah. Is this actually Canada? Do you know what you're reporting and what you're doing to the people out there? How does that make you feel? You're a young guy. This is not the world. This is not Canada. This is not the world I want my kids to live in. And you guys are a big part of what you're doing. It's not right, man. You gotta think about that. Yeah, this is not leave. right. You're, you're assigned there. Don't leave. My husband lost his job. He's a teacher. I was a nurse. Good people out there, that firefighter. Do you know how many nurses out there have lost jobs? How many teachers? How many um, firefighters? Like just just because the jobs I just heard there recently, everyone has suffered. People have died because of this. It's not okay. Hey. Welfare? You're bringing up welfare services? You're talking about concerned about kids being with their family. Kids are with their families in these trucks, and they are laughing and they're dancing. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves for what you're doing. Hmm? They have never been happier these ten days than they have in the last two years. Do you know how many kids came up and said thank you? Do you do you actually even look at the notes that are stuck to every single truck from kids? Do you see the heart that comes out from them? Yeah. Do you know how important this is for them? Yeah, like I said there, like I totally get your, your side there too. <clears throat> then why don't you report it? Why don't you guys report it? Like, like I said, why don't not, you report the truth? Not my, it's not in my power now. Sorry. You allow it to happen. By being here, you allow it to happen. It's not even in my power. Or is this your job? Well, is this I, your job to stand? So you consent. To carry you consent. I took, a, I took a choice as a nurse. And right away, as soon as this happened, I stood up and I lost my job for it. You being here a part of this, you're complicit. It means you consent to what is happening. It's just money. There's other jobs. There's other ways. There's other platforms. The longer you stay with this lie... Stay strong. Oh, I am strong. You have no idea. But you guys have you guys have to sleep at night and live with your conscience of what you're doing to Canada and the people here. I feel sorry for you. Shame on all of you. Shame on you. Sad, pathetic people. Bye! Alright. See? I held it in. Until the cameras are gone. But it's not okay. It's not okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bringing in the kids. Bringing in the kids, saying they're working with welfare services. That's the message they, they want to put out there. That they're concerned about the safety of the kids and the welfare? No, it's just not okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go.
I'll see you guys later.